Hi, I'm Mark Cole from Boat US Magazine. Welcome aboard. Today I'm going to be changing out this hose on this boat here. As you can see, it's very cracked um, and it could fail at any moment. And if the sea cock was open and the hose let go, we'd flood the boat and we could potentially sink the boat. So it's always a good idea to keep an eye on all the hoses on the boat, check them. If you see any cracking, it's cheap insurance just to replace them out. So the first thing we're going to do is to turn off the sea cock, and I've already done that, so that there's no water comes in the boat when we take the hose off. Next, we're going to undo the hose clamps. There's one at both ends. I've already taken off the top one. We'll pull the hose clear. We'll get that out of the way. Put that to one side. I have a new length of hose here. So the first thing I'm going to do you slip that back on here. I'd already cut this to the right size so I know it's going to fit. And we've got some hose clamps here. It's important to only use good quality stainless steel hose clamps. If you use cheap hardware store hose clamps, sometimes they're not proper stainless steel or the band may be stainless steel but the bolt is actually just a plain steel and then they will corrode and they will let go. So I'm going to go ahead and slip a couple of hose clamps on there and then tighten those up. So the first one goes on. Most of these have a hexagonal style screw so you can either use a screwdriver as I'm doing or you can actually use a small socket wrench. So the first one's on and that's tight. Then I'm going to get another hose clamp. So we'll just double check that. That's nice and tight now. So we've stripped out the old hose. I've put the new hose on now. The last thing to do is open up the sea cock and check for leaks. We have no leaks, everything looks good. So I'm going to go right ahead now and check the rest of the hoses on the boat. For more information on this, you can go to boatus.com magazine. Thank you for watching.